Yo, what is up, guys? We are back for more Dokkan content. We on the ground, baby. Let's go. Uh, so, as I'm sure y'all can see, summer of 2024, summer of this year, the um Global and JP will finally be synced together. So, I'm going to assume they are doing the sync just in time for uh worldwide now that is a little funny right because worldwide is usually synced anyway uh only thing that's different sometimes is the banners but they are synced so kind of weird but you know summer 2024 they you can see it right up here operation schedule unification timing um i think this is wonderful news i was scared this was gonna go on to like 2025 I, I was scared um yeah I, I was scared we were gonna get past the 10th anniversary before we um what you call it before we would be able to uh have the sync ready um so that means they're going to start pushing stuff out really fast really fast uh so what what do what do they have left they have all right, Global's obviously gonna have the ninth anniversary they gotta do. We got Gohan and Piccolo. 17 and 18 is next. We have Ribrian. We have Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Harutagarn. But see, that's just the units. And we got all the world tournaments and... Wow. Yo, Global might be stacked in the past, uh, in the next few coming months. Uh, it might be stacked. Now, will it be stacked with fun content? remains to be seen <laughs> that i don't know i do not know if it will be stacked with fun content um also keep in mind down here it says content may change without notice so while it is summer of 2024 don't 100 percent put all your um all your eggs into that basket right it could always change it could get pushed back to after worldwide worst case scenario it could get pushed back to next year so i mean I'm happy, but I also don't want you guys to get too excited, and then, like, you know, it it, it doesn't end up happening, right? I uh, just want to keep everybody's, you know, expectations in check. I don't, I, I don't, want, I don't want to see people, you know, being tight and all that. Oh, why isn't it here? Like, listen, it's subject to change. Um, and there was one more thing. So, Global is going to be getting, um, what you call it? Uh... So it says down here, the first, we are preparing in-game events that will be held in the international version first. So Global will be getting Global first uh, content. Um, what that content could entail. So last year, it was God Goku. We got God Goku before JP, funny enough. Um, this year, it could be a banner. It could be an easy A. It could be a new difficult event. It, it could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of things. I would assume it's probably going to be a very hype easy A. Um, now, as far as who could easy A, uh, I mean, who would be hype enough? I don't know who'd be hype enough. Um, can I sort this the other way? Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know who would be hype enough. Um, I, I, Janemba? Would it be time for Janemba? Janemba came out two years ago. Well, the 16 the LRs came out two years ago as well on JP. But they're about to get their easy A. So, like, Janemba could. Um, by the way, side note, this is just speculation. There's no telling if it is actually going to be a, um, what you call it? Um, a easy A. It could very, like... I don't know, I could just throw something out. It could very well be a global first freaking, I don't know, final flat, LR final flash Vegeta, right? It, it could be something like that. It could be anything. Um, previous years, it has been an EZA, so that leads me to think it's going to be an EZA. But they could just change it, right? Like, it could be an EZA like last year, or they could just decide to change it, right? Um, yeah, as far as who could EZA, I mean... I don't know. If we do end up getting like another uh, Final Flash Vegeta, then I guess this guy would be EZA worthy. He came out 
um, really early in JP, like mid 2021 in JP. So, uh, yeah, it'd be about time for him to use EA. Uh, yeah. Um, what's going on? Uh, is there any other news? Uh, probably aim to be synced during the worldwide. Yeah, worldwide is probably when they're gonna get everything together. And then this is just GP stuff. This is anniversary stuff. Uh, let's check Battle Hour. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, best player time. Oh, we got more uh, speed battle stuff for Battle Hour. Um, but yeah, it seems like the big news is um. We have a, a distinct timetable for uh, the sync. We have a distinct timetable for the sync. I am, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I know a lot of people, they announced the sync last year during Worldwide. You know, it, it, was, it was insane. It was freaking nuts. It was nuts. Uh, crazy. But as time went on, some people definitely lost that, that love for it because we didn't they didn't really give us a whole lot of information leading forward they didn't really like they kind of kept us in the dark for a while um but now that we have a, a semi time frame like summer of 2024 is is a time frame right so we can rest our hats on that time frame now i think a lot of people will uh regain that love for them announcing it early uh, some people didn't really didn't like them announcing it early because they afterward they like didn't even mention it till like right now. Uh, they may have mentioned it in passing maybe, but nothing really major. So yeah, I'm sure people are gonna be really happy with this news. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think down below in the comment section about this and about the um, global first events that will be coming to Dokkan to Global Dokkan first. Again, as previous years show, it could be an easy A. It could also just be something completely different. Like, there's no telling what it could be. Uh, my guess would be an easy A, but again, they could just decide to go in a completely different direction, right? Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe for more Dokkan Battle content such as this. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I love y'all, and I'm out. Peace.